Welcome to my home here in Southeast Michigan. Uh, we're going to talk about a number of things today, but the, the big one is, do you ever think you might want to buy a refurbished rifle, an air rifle? I have to tell you, we buy used powder guns all the time. I've gotten some great bargains that way, certainly at the gun shows. But uh, uh, did you know they're available on air guns too? I continually get questions in the comments section. Where do you get your guns and what do you pay for them? Well, first of all, I buy them all. Uh, air guns, uh, I'm not tied to any manufacturer of any sort, not even to pellets or anybody. Um, and I, I just soon keep it that way. That way you know you're getting the straight skinny and I'm not trying to put some spin on anything. Uh, first of all, if you're sitting on the fence about should I ever even look at a refurbished gun, let me uh, show you this uh, common ad at one of the big dealers here in the Midwest. Not only do they sell you a new gear gun, but if you like, for 10 extra dollars, they'll shoot it 10 times. Or for $20, they'll shoot it 20. Well, this weeds out some, some bad apples out of the group, if you will, because they'll find guns that the, they leak air. They'll find guns that shoot the wrong direction. They'll find guns that have loose nuts and bolts on them. So that's a real insurance policy that the gun you're going to get is a good one. And all they did was shoot 10 rounds. But when we talk about a refurbished gun, we're talking about a gunsmith going through the whole doggone thing here in America, often about a gun that was made overseas and checking out a bunch of things. In fact, I've got a list of those bunch of things that I'll share with you. I'd like to cover three manufacturers today and then a big uh, warehouse that, that, that uh, uh, covers them all. But uh, before I get into that, uh, let me just say that by going on the internet for the brand that you like and just type in XYZ air gun refurbished and you might be surprised, uh, but these companies do get air guns back. They do fix them with qualified people and they resell them and they can't sell them at retail. Well, I just got news that one of my refurbished orders has arrived. Now what we need is a good sharp knife to open it up. Let's see, got all different kinds of blades here. Uh, oh, now this, this would open a package pretty good. But, uh, uh, and this would probably beat the package up pretty good. But, uh, oh, I found the knife I need. One of the world's smallest switch blades. There it is. This is all that we're going to need to open up this refurbished air gun. And a surprise. We've, we've moved in today because we've had hail, hard rain, medium rain, winds. It's actually kind of quiet right now. So we've, we've moved in. Refurbished air guns have gone through a checklist. It doesn't matter which company. They all have a checklist and the guns have been looked over by a good uh, gunsmith. Uh, you need to know about some missing parts. When people send their guns in to uh, have a problem with it, they don't send the slings, they don't send the plastic presentation boxes. They often just come like this. So one of the warnings I get, at least from this particular company, is don't expect any extras other than the number of magazines that hold pellets. They've added to it to make sure that I'm getting all of those. Now this is what it looks like right here. Uh, a nice styrofoam box. Uh, some boxes. This happens to be uh, the Bull Boss. And they make sure that I get some pellets. Well, here they are. 
four boxes of pellets with a gun. A uh, hex head. A couple of magazines. This is the Hats and Bull Boss. Some replacement seals. A degasser. And uh, a little capsule, which among other things, has more seals, but it also has the, the air valve, the male air valve, to put this gun in. And so here the gun is, just like new. And uh, what I like most important when I get an air gun back, uh, Renee, make sure that we see this. But there's a checklist, and they've gone down, and here this gunsmith, whose name is Austin, he has uh, checked off all the things uh, that he has personally prepared to sign his name to, to let this box out. And they shot a 10 shot average, and they came out to be, in this example, 950 feet a second. This is a 25 caliber uh, bull boss. Uh, you know, some people pay the retailer that they get their guns from to shoot 10 rounds, shoot for 10 bucks, 20 rounds for 20 bucks. And here I get a gunsmith when I buy refurbished at about 60 cents on the dollar. And a real gunsmith has checked out this gun. And I haven't been hurt once in buying refurbished from Gamo, Benjamin, you name it. They've all got them. This one just happens to be from Hatson. The surprise, <laughs> the surprise is uh, these two boxes. They've come from Hatson too. Now this is uh, July of, um, here I'll put that little, right here. This little switch plate is helping me. Uh, there is a shortage of ammo here in America in the year 2021. And in a lot of places, you just can't get it. I just tried to order some, some pellets and I didn't get any, not the ones I like. But when you call these factories that do the refurbishing, well, my goodness, you get exactly what you want. In uh, this example, I got four of these. Let's see what I got in this. Even more pellets are inside that these companies hand. So to me, it was a good day. Lots of pellets and a nice refurbished air gun. Let's take a look here first at Gamo. This is one of the first pages that you'll get when you go into Gamo. And the one I want to bring your attention to is pellets. You know, there's a great shortage today on guns and ammo. Uh, there's a lot of fear. We've got police forces operating at uh, smaller numbers than normal. And we've got some rioting, etc. that's got a lot of people scared. And so guns and ammo have been wiped off of shelves, including a spillover into air guns. But one place that I've found that I can still get any kind of pellet anytime is to go on their website and they've got them there. You see, one of the reasons that they're cleaned out of the shelves is that these companies have had to, to order in advance uh, quantities, but the factory has them and they're ready to distribute them when needed. So they seem to always have them for me. Uh, a gun that I've been waiting for at Gamo is called the uh, Swarm Bone Collector 22 Magnum 
It's all wood and it's even more powerful than the Swarm 10X 22 Magnum that we find today. It's still called Generation 2. I've looked it over. I think it should be called Generation 3. But they haven't had any come back, at least not to advertise about. And so I still wait. But it's out there. And not very many dealers have it. So uh, uh, it's really their best gun of that Swarm 10X collection. That's the one I'd like to get next. Um, to give you a little idea of prices here at Gamo, here's a refurbished Gamo Magnum. It's in all three calibers. It normally, that Magnum sells at $299, but right from Gamo, uh, it's only $239. So you're saving about $60 right there. Let me show you a third manufacturer and then I'll show, share with you a, a warehouse that I've also done business with. This is Hatson. Uh, you know, Gamo for years was the biggest uh, seller of air guns in the world. I think they might still hold that title for Europe. Uh, Hatson now is calling themselves the biggest manufacturer of air guns in the world. And uh, I don't know exactly how that's affected Benjamin Crossman, who has long since been the biggest manufacturer here in the U.S. I think Benjamin Crossman is into a lot of the department stores, et cetera, where their guns are posted. And that allows them to keep, keep their number one position here in the US. How long all that will last? Who's gonna be number one next year? I don't know. But I wanted to show you this. Here's Hatson and going right uh, uh, to a retailer. I've X'd out their, their name up here. But they're saying that this uh, flash pup uh, from Hatson is retail 439, but they're selling it today, July 5th for 399. I'll show it to you for 249 today. And that flash pup is a excellent, excellent gun. I always check the length of the barrel. In fact, I've got a, uh, a, a, a video coming up that talks about, does the length of the barrel make a difference? You might want to tune in for that one coming up but I always check, what's the length of that barrel? Um, here's Hatson's price, 249 for a remanufactured, refurbished uh, flash pup. Uh, I've had people write to me and say, where do you get your air, the air compressor? Well, here's the tall one that can do two guns at once. It's 399 refurbished. This uh, is uh, rather interesting, this TAC Air 12 volt. This allows you to plug into your cigarette lighter in the field and then hook this up and pump uh, pressure into your guns in the field using your car's battery. Now here's the real big boy. This will fill up a, uh, an aqua lung tank over here for 949. I mean, these, these machines can go for two grand. And here it is for 949, refurbished. Uh, now I want you to remember this um, this uh, compressor right here at 399, because here it is for just 329, not 399. But it's the same. I think it's the same, but it only does one air gun at a time. And I, that's the one I have, and I, it just does fine. Here's the hand pumps for those of you who still want to deal with that paying $79 instead of 150. Now, here's an interesting thing. I bought this Hatson Gladius. Now look at some of these prices. Here's 999 list price. But everybody's selling them today for 799. I've X'd out the name of the dealer here, but 799, they've dropped 200. Why? Well, because this thing came out, I think, in 19, 19, uh, 2019. So the point is, it's been out a couple of years. There's some little newer, you know, the Hats and Blitzes out there. So uh, uh, this has dropped a couple hundred dollars. Uh, but $9.99 down to $7.99. I'll show you what I paid for it in a minute. But I want to bring to your attention this check sheet that was in the box of the Hats and Gladius when I got it. Uh, the name of the technician was uh, Arlo, and uh, he says there's no cracks 
there's no major damage to the stock. The scope rail uh, is fine. Uh, the uh, open sights, and, and this gun came with no scope, so they're not worried about a scope up here. Open sights, they're great. Uh, the cocking uh, stroke is excellent. Uh, the safety function works. Uh, the trigger two stage works. Uh, the firing cycle is normal. Cock it, shoot it, cock it, shoot it. It works just fine. A 10, year, uh, a 10 yard group is within the Hatson specifications. I don't know what their specifications are. They have specifications at 10 yards. And he's saying, uh, they are, and uh, they measured the speed at 805 feet per second on this particular gun. Um, it was then inspected, and a note, excellent condition, was the last thing that Arlo wrote onto this gun. Let me just show you that this gun was $9.99. It's gotten down to eight ninety nine currently at a big dealer, seven ninety nine. I'll show you what I paid for it here in a minute. Here's another one, the Hercules Bully. I like this big tank because it really, instead of having to change, I don't know if you know that there's a way to change the uh, compressed barrel, which is usually right below this barrel, on a lot of hats and guns, and you get another two hundred and fifty cc's. Well, if you just have one in here of 500 cc's, you don't have to change anything. And uh, getting these guns to work for quite some time. Here's a list price of $9.99 for a Hercules Bully. A big dealer is selling them for $8.99. Here is the slip of paper that was in mine. It's a Hercules Bully. It's 25 caliber. The serial number. The technician is uh, Austin. No cracks, scope rail's fine, stock screws are tight, it's got open sights, the barrel's okay, the cocking stroke is okay, the safety function, the trigger function, the firing cycle is normal, uh, the 10 yard group is within their specifications, and their velocity meter said 975 feet um, uh, uh, of velocity. This is a lot more than 10 shots for 10 bucks. Not only was this test free, but the gun is coming to me at a much lesser price, saving me 50, 60, 70 dollars. Here's my order. Now remember, this thing had a list price of 9.99, selling for 8.99. Right direct from Hatson, a refurbished nine, or rather five forty-nine. What a great and $15 a shipping. What a great deal that was. Uh, the moment I took it and said, okay, I'll take this one. Notice now there's a wait list. There was only one available. I had to get online. I had, uh, had to wait saying, I want the gun. Let me know when one becomes available. They did. I ordered it and kaboom. Now you have to join a wait list again. Uh, if that's the gun that you wanted to do. Yeah, I was on this wait list for probably two months, but I got it and I got it for $549. let us just keep uh, looking here. Here's a Hatson Bull Boss. These things listed out at $800 once upon a time, currently selling for $549 today. Um, I just ordered one. I didn't pay $5. Uh, five, what's it, 549? Yeah, 549. I got it $200 less for 349. Refurbished, checked out. Um, and in the 25 caliber. Uh, I checked, they've always got a spec sheet for their guns, all the dealers do, all the, the manufacturers do for lead pellets, a thousand feet per second. I don't use lead free. And, and get higher speeds. I'm not interested in those higher speeds. I get less accuracy when I do that. I also always check the barrel. This particular gun has a barrel length of 23 inches. Again, tune in um, in about two weeks. 
I'll be talking about barrel lengths and how important they are and why you want a longer barrel if at all possible. Uh, they're showing some other guns down here that they have available. I'll just read some of these. The, these are all refurbished. The 95 Springer, $99. The Gladius Long, $629. The Edge uh, Springer, $39. The Vortex, $149. Just some refurbished prices for you to know. I got a note, and here's an interesting note. Not only did I get this Bull Boss for $349, but I picked up four cans of Vortex Strike pellets for 25. No shortage there at the manufacturers. They've got them. The dealer doesn't, but the, but the uh, factory does. And for four cans, I paid $35, almost $36. That's $9 a can. There's one dealer out there says, buy four, you get one free. They want $15 a can and they don't have the cans. So uh, right from the factory, and they're new in a box, they, they, don't, they don't have re, remanufactured or refurbished uh, uh, pellets. But I got four cans for $35. Uh, a couple more guns that I think are just listed out here. The Vectus, I don't know if you know about the Vectus, that's the one that is a lever action. What a great bargain that is. I got one of those too, $249. I'll be doing a review on it soon. But here's a refurbished Speedfire. Now this is a brake barrel, 139. Here's an AirTac, uh, $39. I think that's a pistol. And here's an Air Max. That's a semi-auto for $499. It just gives you a little idea. So, so far, oh, I wanted you to see, here's this uh, compressor I got for $339. <laughs> um, Here's the bigger one. Uh, it was $399, and this sheet is showing $499. But it, it, it got down to $399. The reason, um, here's a barrage for $529. It's refurbished. Here's a Mod 125 Vortex, $229. Attack pistol, $299. That's a semi automatic pistol. Uh, that might even be a full auto pistol, I think about it. And then here's a refurbished Galatian Walnut 629. Um, some more, a Bullmaster for 529, a Vortex 169. Every gun in the lineup is available. Every one of these manufacturers has, uh, do you want to subscribe to any news they put out? They just put out the fact that uh, here is their tactical semi-auto called the Invader. I got it already, 25. I got it refurbished for $4.99. Uh, they're selling them new, $5.79 from the factory. Uh, everybody else, you know, $6.99, $7.99. I got it refurbished $4.99. Uh, I, I have a waiting list and I am online waiting for this refurbished Bully 45 caliber. I just got on it, so who knows how long I'll be on wait. Um, three other guns I'm online for is the refurbished Barrage, the refurbished Bullmaster, and uh, I, I've already gotten the Bull Boss. Okay. Oh, it's just, um, I'm on this wait list. Here's a, a Bullmaster that I'm waiting for. Uh, it's it's uh, 900 feet. I usually check what kind of uh, velocity it has. The 900 to 950 is a sweet spot for me. Uh, it's under that 1,050 feet, so it's it's uh, below the speed of sound. And um, my uh, my backyard is is uh, perfect for 90 percent of the time using a gun, just like this one. Um, not happy with the fact that this barrel is only 19 inches long, almost 20, but it's not 23. So something I was not happy about. Okay, that's three manufacturers, Gamo, um, Benjamin, and Hatson. Let's talk about a big <coughs> dealer that's not a manufacturer, 
just a dealer. They're called fieldsupply.com. Uh, right now, I just checked today, they've only got Hatson and Centerpoint scopes. That's Benjamin Crossman, by the way. Now, before I get into that, let me just say this. I would love to think that this particular video that we have about buying refurbished will be a place where you will share with me and all of our readers, and viewers, uh, the best place you know to get an air gun. And so we'll start collecting them here in this video uh, of the best places for all brands. Consider that. So anyway, here's an air gun uh, sale going on at Field Supply. It happens to be Hatson and uh, they've marked them up here. I'm not gonna go over all, all of them, but here's a couple of them down here for prices. Here's a sling, here's a, a, a bipod. Uh, in here, they talk about some of these. These prices are not as good as getting them right from Hatson refurbished, but then I think they stepped in and just bought a bunch from Hatson or Center Point or whatever. Now they do not like <laughs> me printing from them or anybody else. So I've got a double print here, but just let me show you this much. At Field Supply, you can see it right here. From Field Supply, they have currently, uh, they had about four or five hats and scopes, but they had two Benjamin center point scopes. One was like $42 and the other was 59, 42 and 59. One had a, a, a 30 millimeter tube, one had a one inch tube. Uh, these are typically um, uh, what, three by nine, and that one's a, a, a 12 by 26. Um, so uh, I usually have gotten a couple of good deals on scope here, but paying around 50 instead of around 100. And uh, that allows me to have well, I think I've got about 21 air guns right now. And if I didn't get deals like this, I'd probably have about 10. So I, I wanted to share these with you and I want you to share yours with me so that we know where to get the very best deals when it comes to air guns, pellets, scopes, et cetera, et cetera. Meanwhile, consider leaving us a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. We do two videos a month and uh, you'll be first in line to get one. And uh, lastly, uh, just know that if you click onto that little oval circle of my picture, you'll access our whole library. And it was all designed for just one thing, one thing, stay air gun sharp.